Hey everybody, this is Nick, welcoming you to the very first review from Street Fighter Month, and this, of course, is Street Fighter II The World Warrior for the Super Nintendo. Now, this game originally came out in July of 92, but I really don't remember the game coming out in the summer because uh, I do remember really excited about being able to bring the game home and having practice before I ended up getting my ass handed to me in the arcades, which pretty much eventually happened all the time. But this version, when it came out, I just remember playing it a lot. My father would actually play it with me, and uh, he actually used to use Ryu a lot, I think. And uh, my brother ended up playing as God. And I really don't have to tell you about Street Fighter. I mean, when the game came out, it was huge. And the very first place I played it was at this old arcade called the Subway. And that used to be in a small little mall by me. And I was really apprehensive about playing the game the very first time I saw it because I remember looking at this game, seeing uh, six buttons, and not one of them jumped. Because I was really used to playing Final Fight with my brother. I would play as Hagar, and he would play, I think, as Guy. I don't think he used uh, Cody. But, you know, I was sort of like, hey, it's from Capcom. You know, maybe I'll give it a shot because most of the time a lot of teenagers were on the game and I ended up visiting the arcade when it was kind of dead, so I ended up getting a couple games in it and uh, ended up loving it ever since. Now, my brother also, he used to play this at a deli near the high school, so they ended up doing money matches and some of the kids ended up getting thrown out of the deli because uh, they were putting down some big money trying to play Street Fighter. And, you know, that still happens to this day. But... The Super Nintendo port of the game is a pretty good port, um, considering that it is missing a lot of sound effects and a lot of the announcer sound is strangely missing. Like, he will not um, say you win or you lose or announce the country, so I guess they had to do uh, some uh, alterations to get the game to fit on the cartridge for the time. Now, one of the things I just wanted to point out with Guile, it's weird playing as Blanca. I just started playing this over again. And I've noticed if I do the 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 ball, or I guess the Blanca ball, or whatever I forget what the official title of the uh, attack is, but Guile just goes into like this rapid fire mas machine gun punch, and there's no way to get him out of it. It's just really weird, and there's pretty much no way I you could do it on a normal controller. I mean, he just sits there and he just wails on the jab button. It's insane. Now, the one thing that the Super Nintendo version had that the arcade version didn't, surprisingly, was the ability to play as the same characters in a versus mode. And then, of course, you enter in the... Cap I guess you could say the Capcom code, since uh, they ended up using it in Turbo, which was down R, L, up L, Y, B. And that would let you play as the same characters, and that you couldn't do in the arcade till Champions, so it was really cool that you did get to see that. And another thing that you could do in the home version, if you had a Game Genie, you could also play as the boss characters. Which was something that, it kind of broke the game because I guess if a lot of people know Pokemon, you'll know of the one character missing no, that looks like a jarbled up bunch of like graphic sprites, like a glitch. And if you ended up putting the code in, it would pretty much let you play as the boss characters but they were all glitched up and they didn't work right. I don't think they had pretty much anticipated you to go in there. I don't think you could, you know, play Balrog as, you know, doing charge moves or M. Bison the same way. But it pretty much was, you were trying to play as the boss characters. And it was cool to see that they did have that in the, to, you know, the game gear, or game genie, I should say, really added a lot of crazy things that you could do with it. So. I'm going to close out here with this uh, fight with me against Chun-Li from the wonderful uh, China stage with the guy killing the chicken in the background. That's always great. So I'm going to be back with the next video. is going to be Street Fighter Turbo, also with Champion Edition, two for one part. So thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of the videos we have here on Street Fighter Month from Arcade Hunters.